Hello and welcome. If you've been following my Primal Pattern series, then now we're gonna be moving on to the bend pattern. Bending is fundamental for daily life. We have to bend down to pick something up off the floor. We have to bend down to put our children into their cot. We have to bend down to lift something heavy. And fundamentally, the, the main body weight or you say primal standard in bending is the ability to bend with a rounded spine and come back up again without any injury and with good form. Now that's good and that's, that's great and there's a lot of people who can't do that, so if you can't, you must. But what I've started to do with my clients is actually shift that a little bit. I expect them to be able to do that, but actually I would now consider the primal standard, the ability to do a deadlift um, with good form and at a manageable weight. And the reason I say that is because we're all lifting every single day. And so we may be able to bend, but if we can't bend and lift any weight, then you know, we're really leaving ourselves open to injury. So I would always, with my clients, want them to be able to bend without any weight, normally, but also be able to do a basic deadlift with weight. So let's say anywhere from 10 to 20 kilos. I think if we can do that in perfect form, then I think we're setting ourselves up for good spinal strength and good stability and, and injury prevention. Now, the one thing I would say with the deadlift and the lifting, uh, process or protocol, there's often a few arguments or debates on whether we should be lifting with a neutral spine or, or a rounded spine. Now I'll just give you a little insight into how I do this. So for heavier lifting, fundamentally yes I am in the camp of the lifting with a neutral spine. And the reason I say that is because in a neutral spine you're much, much less likely to damage ligaments and disc. Now, anyone who's treated or anyone who's had injury to ligaments and discs know that you really don't want to be damaging your supportive structures. They take a lot longer to heal and the healing pro process is a lot more difficult in, in general terms. In terms of lifting with a rounded spine, you're probably more likely to injure those structures. So in a neutral spine, you're more likely to injure the muscle and muscle is a lot easier to heal, unless obviously you do a full rupture or you tear muscle from bone, but on the whole that doesn't happen very often. So the reason I lift, to clarify, with a neutral spine is because I'm more likely to damage muscle and less likely to damage ligament and disc. If I lift with a rounded spine, I'm more likely to damage ligament and disc and less likely to damage muscle. And as you can see, you know, it's, it's a pretty easy choice of what you'd want to risk. Now, bearing that in mind, I wouldn't want to risk either. So I'd want to make sure that I was lifting well. And that's where you need to have someone assess your ability to deadlift and to bend. If you want to work on your bend pattern strength, um, then what I do is um, within my workouts, I will do very, maybe very light medicine ball work where the medicine ball is on the floor and I bend down with a rounded spine and I pick that ball up and I progress that on. So I might progress the load, or I might make the movement more challenging where I'm doing things with a twist as well, or bending forward with a twist to pick up, so that I'm working in other ranges of motion with the bend, not just forwards and backwards, which is absolutely fundamentally important. But with those kinds of movements, you have to be assessed. There is a risk of injury, so please don't do it without any kind of professional guidance first. Um, last thing I want you doing is blowing out a disc. So yeah, the bend pattern, you've got to look at your bend, got to get it strong, uh, ascend it and descend it to where you're at currently. And if you don't know how to do that, then, then definitely ask uh, a trainer or, or a practitioner who can take you up and down the different levels of the bend pattern. And, uh, and start strengthening that spine in bending because it will be good for you in the long term. Take care, look after yourself, Subscribe, watch the other videos in the series, and uh, I'll see you back with the final one, the lunge. Take care, look after yourself.